Hello everyone. Okay, so today I want to share with you how um, I made my cabbage juice, fermented cabbage juice. Um, of course you have seen other videos where you have to cut the, the cabbage and then uh, you put the sea salt and then wait and squeeze it, you, you get the brine and, um, and then you put it in the, in the jar. Now, it's kind of like, a, I found it a little bit tedious and a lot of the time I got like this white film on top after a couple of days uh, or some sort of like a, 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 a mold. So uh, what I've done is I juiced out just uh, white cabbage juice in here in my Omega juicer right here okay and I put it in this nice bottle that I bought from Marshall I guess it was four bucks there we go okay it's day seven right now okay since I made this I uh, added uh, one teaspoon of sea salt and uh, three cloves of uh, uh, of uh, garlic um, as you can see I'm gonna get closer here I'm not getting any mold I'm not getting any white film or whatever any um, uh, brown or slime or any other stuff like I use this mason jar and I got all troubles okay well this one is day seven and it's fermenting very well the bubbles are coming out here we go get a, get a shot here and as you can see the bubbles are coming out and I just put some shredded paper and uh, shredded cabbage paper paper and um, leaves I'm sorry and uh, as you can see I did not strain it okay uh, it's floating here. I tested out just a couple of minutes ago and um, it, of course I have to dilute it with water. It was one portion of that uh, juice plus uh, and I added the three portions of water and uh, so far as you can see it's working out very 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 well. Um, with the typical mason jar this is my fermented uh, uh, what I got here uh, I got broccoli, cauliflower, and some turmeric. Okay, and I added some cranberries. But look at here, I have to put like a thick layer of olive oil in order to keep it preserved. Okay, and I sometimes I even have to remove that uh, white film. Um, but um, with here, I did not put any oil, and so far it looks like it's working very well. So I went yesterday and I bought this other glass jar and today I'm going to just add this nice uh, red cabbage along with the big white one and uh, see the results. Alright, so I'm going to leave this. I'm not going to put it in the refrigerator. Um, uh, other uh, nourishing, I think, uh, nourishing facts. I'm going to mention the website. This is where um, I get most of my directions, although the the method of just juicing out uh, the brine, um, I don't know, I couldn't find it at any other website. Uh, the, um, uh, they recommend that you leave it uh, for 28 days. Uh, the temperature inside the house has been here steady, um, I would say about 68 to 74, something like that. So uh, it's, it's, um, it's January right here, right in Florida. So it's not hot, it's not cold. So this is the right temperature as per the experts say. All right, so hopefully I'll see you on uh, day 28. But uh, so far it's working so great. All right, see you in another video. Thank you.